2019. I am about to head to Wally World. Alone, babies in the house, praying. The kids are Mama on his laptop. Mariah in her favorite place, the bathroom. And I'm on my way to Wally World. Give me some drinks. I like the uh, the sparkling water. So like when I run out of, well, I ain't run out of sparkling water. I'm almost out, but I want to get some before I run out. And it's cold today, y'all. It's cold. Well, for South Carolina, it's cold. You know, I'm from New York. I ain't I ain't been in no cold weather in years. I've been in South Carolina since 97, January 97. So I really don't know what cold weather is like. Cause you know, if it's, if it's a little cool down here, these people say it's freezing outside. It could be 50. They'd be like, it's freezing outside. They're like, really? Come on, New York, we used to stand outside talking below zero weather, hands freezing, hands numb. Ears numb, feet numb. I remember one time just being in the Bronx by the water and it was freezing, but we were still outside. And it's even colder once you get next to the water. It was freezing. So yeah, today is, and they shut down school today. They shut down school down here over anything. Yeah, if it's a threat, a threat of an inch of snow, they're gonna shut everything down. One time we went to school in New York, and this is no exaggeration, in the early 80s. In 1982, in 1982, I'm telling y'all my age, man. 1982, the snow was up near the door handles of cars in New York. I've, that's, I've never seen it that much before, before then or after then. The snow was up near the door handles, and we still went to school. Now, there might have been a little delay, but we still went to school. If that happened in South Carolina, let me tell you something. Everybody gonna be in the house for a month. For a month long, everybody gonna be in the house. The heat just now kicking in. Anyway, guys, get y'all back. We get back up. Team, I ain't gonna lie, it is a little cold. I just went to Walmart, bought a few things. And I'm not gonna lie to you, team. I was embarrassed to go over there and get this for my wife. I didn't see it at first. I had to ask the woman, oh, where are the eyelashes? She took me over there. I said, as she was walking over, I said, thank you. And I said, these are not for me. I had to let her know, these ain't for me. She's like, I, did these, I said, these for my wife. She said, okay, I, I figured that. She said, I didn't want to judge. I'm trying to avoid an accident, y'all. I be accidents around here like, anyway, Tim, I'm going home to my wife. Going home to my happy wife and my happy life. You riding with Trump. I ride with me today. I'm a safe driver. I do the speed limit. I don't speed. Sometimes my wife think I'm speeding because you know she a turtle. She a turtle. So sometimes she, she think I'm speeding because she don't know the speed limit. The speed limit 55. I'm not going to do 30. But anyway, I'm just rambling, y'all. I'm just rambling. I'm bundled up. Because like every winter, I usually get a cold. I don't want no cold tea. That I had one cold that my wife gave me. I don't want no cold. I don't want another one. See, he doing unsafe stuff right now. Tell y'all what I want. I want a cup of coffee, a cup of 
Joe. <laughs> so anyway, y'all. My wife got me by eyelashes. Now she asked me to get them while I was at Walmart. I never confirmed to her that I was going to get them. So I'm not going to say nothing when I get back. I ain't going to say nothing about them. But I always said, look, as a single man, I always said, like, I never want to go to the store for, can we talk to you? Can we talk? We family. I said, I never want to go to the store for stockings, uh, pads, or none of that stuff. I never want to do that. I don't even want to, I don't want to go to the store. I'm married now, but I still, I don't want to go to the store, pick up bras and panties or surprise her with. Just a little uncomfortable with all that, you know? I was a little, I was a little uncomfortable, like, walking around Walmart with this in my hand. I had it like this, under my phone. Be honest with you, I had it like this under my phone, you know? I ain't want nobody to mistake and think it's, Anyway, I don't roll like that. Ain't gonna never roll like that. You know how some people say never say never? Even say say never say never. No, I ain't gonna never roll like that. The devil don't want you to declare never. I'ma declare never. <laughs> anyway, T, I'm just tripping. I'm glad to be spending time with y'all. We spending time right now. Going home to my wife gonna find a project to work on. We work on different projects, team. It's beautiful to work from home, you know? It's a beautiful thing to work from home. And it's also a beautiful thing to work away from home. Because then you come back home and, but yeah, be at home, we work right next to each other. Yeah. Still kisses during the day. Still hugs. I'm like, baby, give me a hug. Get hugs during the day. You know? I love working for them. I ain't gonna lie to you. But anyway, guys. Anyway. My wife got me talking like her. Because she be saying that, guys. I never said that in my life. Never. Hi, you guys. Stuff like that. That's not me. You hear me say stuff like that, I'm mocking her. Either I'm mocking her or she's just rubbing off on me. Hi, you guys. Yeah, never said that. But I feel like me and y'all just talk. We just, we just ride. For those of you who don't know me, I am Tron Moses. I'm originally from Brooklyn, New York, Bedford Stuyvesant. If you have not seen the video commercial who touched me, I'm from Bedford Stuyvesant. I moved down here to South Carolina in January 97. Yeah, that's a long time. I've been here since January 97. When I talk to people in New York, they can hear the country in my voice. But people down here still hear the city in my voice, which is amazing. They hear the country, these people down here hear the city. So I'm country city, or I'm city country. Yeah. And so, I like the country. I would never move back to New York. The only thing I miss about New York is the food. The food is awesome. I mean, hot dogs on the street or in Manhattan. I don't know if the papaya place still there, but back then it was 50 cent, 50 cent Franks, hot dogs. Uh, the pizza, my God, the pizza is delicious. Let me tell you, Papa John's is nasty. Uh, Little Caesars is nasty. CC Pieces is nasty. Uh, what's the other one? was right next to me when I was living in the other town before we got married. I was living in Bennisville before we got married. Uh, I forgot the one that's right around the corner. But look, and I ain't gonna lie to you, I ate those pieces. But I would only eat those pieces somebody else paid for. What I was doing, I was driving an hour to Myrtle Beach, an hour just for pizza. And I did it more than one time. 
because the pizza tastes just like New York pizza. Just like a New York pizza is the best pizza I ever had. I heard Chicago got good pizza, but I ain't had it yet. New York has the best pizza I ever had. I've never tasted, I've been there since 97. That's now 2018. I have yet to taste a pizza that tastes better than um, New York pizza. It's, it's the best. And I remember when I was in New York, there was this woman that had a diner. And I was a little kid, and this is the first time I ever seen anybody split a sausage open and fry it like that. To that up until that point, I've never seen anyone do that. And she had this grill and the onions and stuff, and she'd be frying the sausages on it, the burgers on it, the hot dogs on it. Man, it was delicious. I mean, when you just go in there, the smell hits you. I wonder where that woman at now. But y'all probably know by now, y'all been watching. My favorite restaurant is Ruby Tuesday. I just love Ruby Tuesday. I love the hamburger steaks. I love the shrimp pasta. I love the salad. I love the salad. One time I sat there and I ate, and I don't put the salad in them little bowls that they give you. On little bowls when you go to restaurants they have for the salad. I put the salad in a plate. And one time I had two plates of salad. When they brought my food, I didn't even want it. But I love shrimp pasta. I think I, I made it. Yeah, I made it. I didn't like, I ain't like how I came out. I ate it though. About to waste my food. What's wrong with y'all? I ate it though. So anyway, team, I'm looking for this to be a good year for me and my wife and the children. I'm looking for this to be a beautiful, blessed year. I'm looking for God to raise us up, take us further, take us higher, take us deeper, and take us wider. I'm looking for the, the Lord to do marvelous things in our lives. Not just ours, but y'all's too. Y'all team, y'all family. We all family. We family. Come on. I don't want to be where I was in 2017. Declare that this is my year. This is my year. Anyway, I'm about I'm home. I'm, home. I'm about home. I'm close to home. Get back with y'all later. All right, team. I don't think we showed y'all that. We just got that. We just got that a few days ago. I love the hand baby. Right, punch it, huh? She my whole wide world. She my whole wide world pain. You got me lashes. I should kick him in the head. Not playing, you guys. So, you guys, I've been asking for this thing. I need some lashes. Because I've been wearing lashes so long. I feel some kind of way where I don't have them more. You got some lashes. Those right? I don't know. I never tried this before, but they look cute. So I even put on makeup yesterday to do testing on Tuesday, but I still feel some kind of So anyway, some lashes, I'm going to do something to my head. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to get on uh, social media and I'm going to do a little bit out of the book and keep the word of the Lord um, and get prepared for a little prophecy tomorrow. Tomorrow's a big day. Woo! Excited. Yes. And me and Babe are going to work on audiobooks. So. Yeah. We're gonna get set up for that. Yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna put all of them, my books, Look. 14 books and audio books. It's a lot of work. Look for that song. Yeah. So you'll be able just to go on Amazon and they'll give you three options to purchase. You know, either print, ebook, or audio book soon. That's right. So we're gonna get to the point where the book and the audio books are coming out at the same time. Yeah, it's, it's a yeah. lot of work. But yeah. That book you just wrote. Just knock that out too. It's super comfortable. Yeah. Sure. So it come out at the same time. Sure. Sure. Let's All right, done. guys. We got work to do. Oh, what's up, T? Babe, what's up? Huh? Hey, what's up? No, go ahead. What's up, T? Me and Babe are outside. 
I told y'all it's cold. Yeah, it's snowing in South Carolina. What? It is snowing. It reminds me of Colorado. It's so cool. Yeah. I already got plans and everything. We're going to do a snowman, snow angel. We're not doing no snowman. Well, I, me and the kids going to do a snowman. You and the kids ain't doing a snowman. You and half of the kids. Okay, we're going to do a snowman. No, I'm just joking. Whatever. And then I'm gonna have, we're going to have a snowball fight and I'm going to be getting babe. I'm going to get him back. For everything okay. he did to make me mad and get on my nerves. I'm gonna tell y'all something to you. And he he if, gonna lose. I'm gonna tell y'all something to you. If she have a snowball fight with me, <laughs> and I didn't, I didn't, I didn't purposely get in that fight, we gonna have a pillow fight when she go to sleep. Okay. I'm okay. gonna start a pillow fight. They they cancel school for tomorrow. Uh, not tomorrow. I'm speaking today. See, I'm prophesying. Lord Jesus. Oh, believe me, it's canceled tomorrow. Yeah, they cancel school <laughs> actually today. There's probably gonna be no more school this week. Yeah. Yeah. But it's really cold, you guys. It feel like it's Colorado. Cold. So yeah. I should fly my drone. Oh, baby. Oh, it's our first oh, winter together. It's our first winter. The moment. Yeah, mm -hmm. nah. <laughs> Don't do this at home unless you're married. Yeah. You want to walk around it? So, like, down here, like, snow. Like, our steps on the porch. Yeah, it's really covered. I'm not going to walk down there because I know kind of sometimes the snow be slick. I ain't trying to bust my butt, y'all guys. And y'all be laughing at me. But yeah, this is how it looks like the porch is covered with snow. The team ain't going to laugh at you. And it, I think it just starts snowing, right? Maybe like an hour or maybe 30 minutes to an hour. Yeah, it probably been snowing about, about an hour. Yeah, so this is how much snow we got. And I'm shocked that it's sticking. You know, That's it's cold enough to stick. So, yeah. Yes, we dad. Don't say nothing. We dad. We done told y'all we in the country. Yeah. You, saw, cows. you see all those fields out there. Yeah, I heard the cows are moving. I don't know where the cows at. You don't know where they at. Are we gonna walk down there for the cow? Come on. Be careful. You be careful. My car covered. Don't look at my car. They got snow on them. Here's our cows, y'all. Here's our cow. Most likely, y'all seen our cows before. That's our cow. They're kind of mean, you guys. They don't like us. The horse likes us. Home. They don't like punk. Oh, they're cold, you guys. They're cold. They're cold, right? Yeah. I pray y'all stay warm. You <laughs> 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 sound crazy. This is our first winter. Well, I don't know. I ain't gonna say that. But this is our first winter with us, okay? All right. Let's go, go back to the house. I'm getting cold. All right, guys. We thank you for joining us. Our first journey of the snow. We're cold. We're gonna run into the house. We love you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Yeah. And we getting ready to get some. I'm sorry, babe. We're gonna get some. I'm gonna get some coffee. I don't know what babe's gonna get. I might get some coffee, some broth, something to stay warm. Yeah. All right, we love y'all. Hot soup. I mean, hot, hot soup. soup. Hot yeah. soup is good. All right, y'all. Deuces. Deuces.